game. Plus, Friday night in jail, more trouble for Jerome Block Jr., and this time it could really cost him. Not a good start. Just two weeks after he admitted he was a crook and got a sweet deal, Jerome Block Jr. finds himself in jail tonight. That sweet plea deal could turn sour for him because he couldn't keep his nose clean. News 13's Katie Kim is in the newsplex. Jess and Dean Block will remain behind bars for another 12 hours or so, but he could face years in prison for this slip up. Yes, he just two weeks after admitting he stole thousands of dollars from taxpayers. Mr. Block, any comment? Just one week after stepping down from his $90,000 a year job on the Public Regulation Commission, and just one day after taking a court ordered drug test, Jerome Block Jr. is once again back in the spotlight. This time, he's behind bars. Apparently, he failed his urinalysis screening and and was remanded to custody. Part of Block's plea agreement was to complete a court-run drug program. Captain Ken Johnson from the Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office confirms Block tested positive for drugs. Is it an illegal substance? Um, at this point, we can't get into that, that information. Block has admitted that he's addicted to prescription drugs. He'll be held at the Santa Fe County Jail until 11 Saturday morning. Then, Block will have to wait to appear before District Court Judge Michael V. Hill, who could sentence him for up to four and a half years for not holding up his end of the deal. Block pled guilty to six felonies last month, admitting he pocketed thousands of dollars in campaign cash while running for PRC and charged more than 8,000 bucks on a state-issued gas card in just a few months. Block also took a used car for a test drive and never returned it. Attorney General Gary King's office negotiated a deal with Block that would let him walk free and get probation instead of prison time if he made good on all the money he stole from the state and if he stayed clean. It's a very positive day for New Mexico taxpayers. King defended the deal last month. Friday, he only sent out this statement saying, quote, This is obviously not a good start toward honoring Block's commitment. King said he will enforce the agreement accordingly. Attorney General Gary King has boasted of getting tough on corrupt public officials. We had a few tough questions of our own for King after giving Jerome Block Jr. a get out of jail free card. King's office gave us the runaround all day and would not give us an interview. Back to you. Okay, Katie, we contacted Jerome Block Jr.'s attorney for comment, but she did not return our call.